Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Impossible. I'm here. We're back in Besiege, and today I have something fun planned. But first, I wanted to show you this. This is an engine, you guys know I like my alternative engines, that is totally driven by springs, and it's totally automated. So I'm going to hit space, and it's it's controlled by these angleometers. So I'm going to hit space to let it go. And this is totally... They actually have a, a gear reduction here. So uh, so it's, it's one of my f first time. Actually, it's literally, literally my first time having a spring engine. And uh, also using gear uh, intentional gear reduction. So this thing, uh, essentially, this thing moves faster than the end result because I, uh, you know, had bigger gears driving smaller gears, so on and so forth. Anyway, I, right before we ended there, uh, stuff like started flying apart. I don't know if it hit a bomb or what. There was something interesting going on there. But anyway, this is not what we're doing today, but I d it does factor into things I thought you guys might find it interesting to see. We're going to be doing a hybrid. I want to do a piston engine. Plus the spring engine. I kind of want to like marry them together. So essentially, let me see, let me first see if I can find my piston engine here somewhere. All right, as you guys say, uh, see this is basically a start for a piston engine. This is just uh, a very simple one. I'll I'll just have it going. This isn't even automated right now, but I'm just hitting H key. If you time it right, especially with the uh, this, the uh, wheel acting as a flywheel here, here, you have a basic piston engine, which if you get the timing right, you can make it do all sorts of things, either go forward or backward. But the problem is with this one, if you're at the very start at the or at the very end of a, of a pole, so if I'm right essentially here-ish, or if I'm all the way in, like here-ish, you have no power. There's nothing, there's no way to help push you through the other into the into the power stroke and that's why you need the flywheel because it helps you roll through it but uh what i thought would be nice and this basically helps you be able to start from anywhere uh what if we have the rubber bands that are pulling down and another set up here pulling up out of different parts of the uh of the uh of the rotation here so basically w once we get past the center point here and we're going we're rotating clockwise so we get to like here have the rubber band down here pulling down and once we get past the center rotation to about here, have one pulling up. And that, that way we have power continuously. There's no dead zone in our power. But there's more to this than that. Because I have a goal today of making an airplane fly with just piston power, without steam engines, without, you know, uh, traditional, like, wheel-powered wheels and stuff like that. I want to power it with this. That is the plan for today. And uh, I honestly don't even know if it's possible. I've not actually attempted this. Let's just get into it. So I'm going to get building. And once I get a little bit further along, I'll show you guys what I have going on and if it works. And we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. It is, it's taken me a little while. Uh, hopefully you guys are somewhat familiar with this uh, setup. Uh, the These things over here are just basically something for the distance sensor right here to, to uh, find. Uh, I would like to use angleometers or something like this, something a little bit more elegant than this. But of, of course, on an airplane or anything that's not flying, just like on a flat plane, uh, that just won't work as, as you uh, you know as you dip around and turn around the angles are no no longer going to line up properly. A distance sensor is really the only thing I can think of where you can guarantee that the timings will stay exactly as you want them, other than just using a legit timing block, which uh, 
which also doesn't work because your timings are going to be different whether you're under load or not, which means it won't always be ideal. So this is the only thing I could really think of that would work properly, unfortunately. Uh, let me see. This right here is basically just so this distance sensor can see it when it rotates. So when it's back where it is now, uh, basically it's, it's halfway through its rotation backwards because it's you know on this uh, post here. Uh, it can no longer see it as it comes down and starts coming to right about you know, uh, here on its rotation. I know it's a little hard to see, but it gets to about here-ish. Uh, it'll start seeing this again, and that'll cause, uh, let me see, when it when it's not being, when it can't see anything, I have a knock gate flipping things around, so that these strings, uh, these uh, springs right here contract, same as the ones over here, and when it's, it gets over here, past the bottom apex here, then uh, these springs over here will contract, because they'll be over on this side, and that'll help keeping things going around, and of course, uh, these pistons here will push when, they, when they're on the bottom of this wheel here and pull when they get to the top. So uh, let's see it in action really quick so you guys can see what I have going on here. Uh, basically, I have it set so when I hit forward, it goes. So let's hit... See, nothing is happening because I'm not hitting forward, but I hit forward. And oh my god, stuff happens! And it's... Uh, I think I can actually do this without the flywheel action, uh, which I would like to do, if at all possible, because I'm going to make this as light as humanly possible. And of course, having ballast is going to go against that. And we already have all sorts of weird things already going on. I, as you guys can see, I have a lot of logic block stuff going on. None of it is all that interesting. And it's just like, it basically, it's AND gates and a NOR gate. I mean, not a NOR gate, just a, a NOT gate. And uh, basically, that's it. It's like, if I'm hitting forward and the sensor is triggered, you know, contract the springs or, or move the piston and stuff like that. It's nothing all that complicated, quite honestly. And I, I think you guys are probably find that quite boring, to be honest. So uh, I, basically, I have this uh, mirrored the way I want. But the other thing is, I don't need these on the other side. I only need one of these for this thing to properly work. So what I'm thinking is, maybe I'll move this to the other side over here. So that this is at least slightly offset, because I do want this to be balanced, because it is going to be an airplane. That is the uh, that is the idea. I, I don't think it's going to work out that great, to be quite honest. I think I'm going to move this over here, though. Just, I don't know. I think it, it'll be slightly more balanced. It won't be perfect, but it's better than nothing. So let's go ahead and get that going. I'm going to move this over. Luckily, I can just move these over without too much of an issue here. Nothing is really going to change and be, like, world-ending with this. Let's grab this. Move it over so it'll be in line with this stuff. Yeah, right about there is right. And uh, let's just tack it into place with a brace here. And I think we're just going to do something like this. That looks like a thing. That should that should work fine. In fact, let me, let me just do this. I like it better just touching the middle there. And let's verify that everything still functions properly. It does! Things are happening! And it seems to be pretty... Pretty fluid. Let's get rid of the flywheels and just see how it works. I noticed these things, you know, having the weights on the wheels right here is what makes it act like a flywheel. It just seems to add so much smoothness to things like this, to be quite honest. But I want to see if we can do without. Can I Can I click on other things, please? You're, you're being frustrating here. Uh, let's get rid of that and that and that. Uh, hopefully the springs act properly to keep the momentum going. And if I could have less weight, especially being I'm carrying this crap around, that would be ideal. Let's see if that even works. Uh, it's still working. Uh, luckily, the springs are acting to uh, keep the momentum going. I don't think it's acting any less uh, smooth, really, than it was before. At least nothing noticeable. Uh, I'm going to try doing it like this. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Uh, of course, our plane isn't going to be perfectly balanced because they have weird stuff here. It kind of bothers me that it's not going to be balanced. It kind of bothers me a lot. I can add a little bit more weight to this or something. I don't know. We, we can figure something out to try to make it work. But now let's put this onto a plane somehow and make it do stuff. And that is that is going to be rough. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, if I'm being honest with you guys. But the, let's start by making a plane shape. I'm looking forward to using the... Uh, the deform block, which you've never really used before, other than my, uh, you know, my uh, tutorial for it, I put out the other day. Uh, let's take a look at it here real quick. Uh, I think it's under armor. Here it is, the uh, build surface. I called it deform block a second ago, but basically, if you guys haven't seen this yet, like I said, I do have a tutorial up for it, but it is a really cool block. You can make all sorts of weird things with it. 
like, I don't know, a square. Oh my god, we can make a square. But on top of just making a square, you can do other things. Like, you can, you can do this. And now it's like a gate. Like a door or something. I don't know. You can do weird things with this. It, it, it's really cool. I'm really glad that they added this thing in here. We could even do whatever that is. Yeah, that's a thing. It almost looks like a, a profile of a, a wings... Not a wing, a plane's cockpit, like, nose area. Anyway, let's get rid of this really quick. Obviously, that, that is a monstrosity. Nobody should ever see that. Uh, let's get the basic idea of a plane going. Uh, I'm going to get that going, and I'll come back when I have something at least somewhat looking like a plane going, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, I am back. We have something that looks remotely plane-like, kind of, sort of, like a crazy steampunky-looking plane. Uh, I don't know if this will actually generate thrust or not, to be quite honest. I increased the gear ratio coming from here so that uh, hopefully these propellers should be spinning faster than the uh, than the flywheel here. I, uh, I, I'll put the, you know, a couple of weights back on there, but they're, they're very light, honestly. And... Uh, I don't know if this will work, to be quite honest. It's, uh... Well, let's just try it. I'm going to hit the button. Let's see if we generate thrust. We do. Kind of, sort of. But not very much. That was, uh... That was... Well, that was lackluster, quite honestly. Um, let's see if there's something we can do that can force more power out of this. I think I want to try shoving more pistons on here and seeing if that'll help at least a little bit. Uh, I do have a couple other plans. So let's let's first... I, I noticed a couple other things that happened that I want to fix too. But let's, let's start with that. Let's just shove more pistons on here and hope for more horsepower, essentially. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm just basically... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat my way onto this. I already did it over there, apparently. Uh, let's just shove more pistons on here. Boo, 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 boo. Where are you at? Here. Put two more. And over here. Let's get them braced on there. I'm hoping just adding more power will be enough to make this thing work. But I'm not 100% sure that that is the case, to be honest. Um, like that. There we go. And you, you just have to come off brace like that. Brace like that. And like that. That should be fine. Uh, let's see what happens there. Do we get magically more power? Whatever we did just broke everything. Actually, hold on one second. I, I didn't uh, I didn't copy the uh, the things over it, which I, I should have. Uh, I, we're just adding more resistance to the system for no reason, essentially, if I don't copy these bindings over. So let's do that real quick. Eey. 
A lot of times, just adding more power to something does not magically fix it, by the way. But we're going to try. It doesn't hurt. All right, this seems a little janky. Uh, it's, I mean, I had a horrible angle there. Let's uh, restart it here. Let's do it from here. Let's just watch it from here. So this is kind of sort of working. I think our timing isn't quite perfect with this, uh, this sensor, right? It's hard to see it, but this one right here. And I think to fix it, we have to bring these blocks down a little bit lower. Actually, I think this sensor is the one that's, uh, this block right here is the one that's screwing it. Can I get rid of that block? Is it possible? Let me, I basically, I, I did this one side with the propeller and everything, and I just copied it over here, but then I forgot all this stuff was in the way. So it's not necessarily in the ideal place. Uh, if I get rid of that, does this block actually still connect to something? It might still connect to this. Let's just see. It's still connected. So that might fix our timing issue. Either that or I could try moving the timing to the other side. Let's see if that's better. Eh, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Um, there are things we could do to try to make things better. We have some wobble in the, in the line, which isn't great. Let's see if we can stabilize things a little bit. Uh, we can do that by just, you know, bracing things up a little bit here and there. Where did I... I don't even know where I added that thing. Uh, right here-ish. Brace you down here. I, I really wish that I kept everything copied instead of screwing with things now. But it is what it is. All right, let's get this one braced as well. And we'll brace we'll brace this one down to the bottom here as well. There we go. Luckily, the braces don't actually have physics that'll interrupt you know, like with things, so uh, we're still okay. Can we brace this one any further than it is currently braced? I'm not seeing a good way to do that currently. Um, hopefully that keeps it a little bit straighter. We could also, I don't know, we, we could try doing weird things. We could brace them to each other. That wouldn't hurt anything like that. Uh, but I don't think that's really going to do much. We are, we are losing, uh, mechanical energy to the thing just, to, uh, oh, we, we, we blocked something. Uh-oh, we did bad things. Bad things happen. Oh, I braced this like a goofball. Of course it can't move when you brace that, you goof. We're supposed to brace it right here. All right, right here. And you go down to this. Right there-ish. Oh, somewhere around there. All right, this should actually be free moving again. That's something. All right, I feel like this is faster than before, but I also feel like there's no way in Tarnation this would ever take off. So let's see what we can do. Let's go to the ballast, first of all. Let's take ballast uh, and lighten it up anywhere humanly possible. So we're gonna cut we're gonna bring that down as low as possible. And we're gonna go to every single ballast we can find and bring this all the way down. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through this. I'm gonna do this on my own. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, I have uh, I've reduced every ballast I could possibly find. Uh the only other thing I can think to do is get rid of my uh gear increase to make the, the propellers go faster so that the engine itself goes faster. Uh, you know, every time you uh, exchange energy, we're losing energy. Uh, so doing less of that would be useful. Maybe, maybe I could just get rid of uh, this gear right here and just direct connect these two large gears, and have it run the uh, run it that way. Um, and maybe that would result in a higher RPM for the propellers. But honestly, I don't, I don't know that it would. But we're not getting we're not getting near enough power out of these. Uh, let's see if just adding more propellers will be enough. I don't think that it will. I think we'll run into more problems, but it, I think it's worth investigating. So let's just throw more propellers on here and pretend everything's going to get magically better. Uh, let me see here. This one is going the wrong way. So let's get this one. Can I hit rotate? No. Can I rotate you manually? Is that a thing? Uh, let me see here. I want it to go essentially like is that the right way. Yeah, essentially like that. That's, that's a, a, basically exactly how I want. Uh, let me get rid of this one. I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to copy this one and then mirror it in the uh, Z axis. There we go. And we're going to go down here. 
There we go. That should be this propeller officially working the way that I want it to. Um, how's this one go? I guess I can take this, duplicate it, move it, rotate it, like so. Move it again. Do I have to, do I have to move it down a little bit? I do. Oh, come on. Move a little bit for me. There we go. That should be facing the right way. It is. Let's go ahead and duplicate this one. Mirror this one. And just move it into place. Uh, that should be good. Now, if this will produce more lift, uh, let's say we could keep the same RPM. This would essentially in increase the uh, the thrust by, well, it would double it, literally. If we could, if we could keep the same RPM, which I very much doubt that we could, but let's see. It seems like our engines are definitely having a harder time pushing this. I don't even know if us adding more, um, more pistons even helped, honestly. And I don't think us adding this helped at all. I don't think our engines could very, very well handle this at all. We could. We can also try adding more springs. I don't know that that would help either. I think we may be... I think this might be an epic failure, if I'm being honest. I don't know if we... I feel like the distance between where we are and where we need to be is too great. If I'm being honest. Um... Wait, hold on. Do I have these things on backwards? I think I do. I'm not I'm not creating the lift, at least potentially, that I could be with this. If, if this one is definitely wrong. Um, yeah, these are at least half wrong, so that's something. Uh, see, this one... Which way is it rotating? I'm guessing... Hold on. It's rotating counterclockwise. So this one is the wrong one. All right, let's see if we can fix that somehow. Uh, I guess we could just... Like that? Is that proper? Yeah, that looks a bit right. And we probably have that wrong over here as well somewhere. Or the rainbow. Which one do I have wrong? Uh, which way is this one rotating? This one is going clockwise. Which means that this is pushing air back. You are not pushing air back. And to fix that, I guess we have to do something like that. Ish. Does that look right? That's about right. All right. Well, th that honestly won't make that big a difference, but it is something. Let's see what we're doing here. We're, we're still getting thrust going forward. This is all air power. I don't know. None of the wheels are powered. There's no gears going to the wheels pushing them. So we are producing thrust. If we start in the air, maybe we could glide? Maybe? I don't even have the control surfaces set up here properly, and we don't have a tail fin, apparently. Uh, let, let's start that. Let's throw a tail fin on here, and then I'll uh, I'll try to make this fly. I'll tell you it's going to be the most awkward flight in the world, because I don't even have this rigged up properly. Uh, and we don't have it balanced out or anything like that. Let's just throw a tail on here real quick. We're going to throw a... Let's go into the build surface real quick right here. And uh, we'll, we'll get a proper build surface going. We're going to click uh, here. And we're going to go up to there-ish, there-ish, and then to there. There we go. There is our tail. That looks that looks pretty tail-like already, to be honest. I think I'll just leave it like it is. Uh, let's uh, re-key these. These are just steering gears. I don't suggest you ever actually do your things like this, but for right now, I'm just... I'm kind of just like getting a rapid prototype going. That is all I'm trying to do here. So that's up. That's down. I'll probably not get that right, but that's okay. Uh, let's just throw this in the air. Get as much stuff as we can. Let's save it real quick, actually, before I forget. Should we make... Let's name it the uh, worst piston plane ever. All right. It is now saved for posterity. Now let's put this in the air as high as we can get. I think there might be a... Is there an official thing for airplanes? I could have swore there, there might have been at one point. Anyway, let's throw this in the air. Hit the gas. 
Pray that it's balanced at least somewhat reasonably, which I wouldn't count on. All right, guys, we are here. Let me actually let me throw a camera on here, a camera that might actually be useful. Uh, let's see, go basic. It's not there. Where are the cameras at? It's been a long time since I've done this, to be honest. Uh, build here. Also, by the way, I told somebody in my comments that the scaling was working for me. I lied. I didn't know at the time, but yes, I was lying. I have not got scaling to work for this at all. A lot of the blocks, all the blocks I tried, it's not working for me. So apparently scaling is totally screwed right now. Uh, custom, upright. I don't want upright. True tracking? Sure, true tracking. I want IF that'll activate so we can actually see stuff. And let's try to fly. I have, this is probably going to fail, but I'm worth. it's worth trying. So let's go. Right, go. Oh God. Um, I don't know what exactly is happening, but the engine is not working. The engine was not working that entire time, and I don't know why. Let, let me let me let me pin this in place real quick. The engine's just like it, it was. It was literally just like stuck doing nothing here. All right, let's start it again. Engine works, right? I didn't just like imagine us having a working engine. No, it's working. So, like, going against the air resistance, we couldn't move the air. I mean, we couldn't move these at all. That is how weak that we were. Let's get rid of two of these. Let's go back to uh, having the propellers work as such. Maybe we could actually move them like this. Hopefully. Can we, can we move it faster now? I don't know. We have the world's weakest plane, like, ever here. It's kind of embarrassing. And... For some reason, we had, we were just like flopping in the air. And uh, we, like we were nose light, which I don't see how that's even possible. We have all this crap over here, but we were. So, you know, whatever that's all about. Um, anyway, let's get rid of the pin here. Let's see. I got rid of the wrong thing because I can't see. Would you stop getting rid of the wrong thing, please, game? You're annoying. There, we got rid of the pin. Let's try it again. Oh, let's see. All right, we're going. The engine is engining. I think I have to move the wing back. I think our big problem is that the wing is uh, needs to be moved. That's all there is to that one. So let's grab both of these. Let's move it back. See if that helps at all. We're going to have to move the... Uh, Oh, we're going to have to move a lot of things, quite honestly. But it's better to be, have your plane be nose-heavy than tail-heavy if you have to pick one or the other. And uh, we were definitely uh, tail-heavy. We did not have our balancing right at all. Let's get this re-supported real quick. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's funny how it's like, I know this isn't going to work, and I'm still investing into it. Why? I don't know. Why am I doing this to myself? Can I click here, please? Can I get a brace there? There we go. Can I click over here now? There we go. Let's get a brace coming over here. Going from roughly the same place. There we go. And let's get another brace on the other side. I don't know if this is actually required or not. I just feel like the wings should be braced. I feel like they'll do better and be happier that way. Uh, let's get a brace going here-ish. There we go. Hopefully our uh, weight distribution is a little bit better. Uh, we'll find out. Let's, uh, get going now. It's better. Can we, can we pull up? Uh, we fly a little bit like a rock. Uh, if I was gonna describe our flying, that's how I would call it. We did not, uh, we did not go so gracefully there. Uh, one thing I can try. Let's put the whole plane at a little bit of an angle here. Oh, that's... Yeah, why not? Right, Like that. That way we at least start going the right way. And I apparently didn't get... Hold on. I didn't get the uh, camera in my initial thing there. There we go. Um, maybe we can somehow make this work like this? I don't know. Now, why did this... Why didn't the camera move with me? That's weird. Camera. What's your deal? When I rotate literally everything, you should rotate with me. That's that's how rotating works. Uh, that camera is as funky as heck. What is your deal, camera? You're not acting like you should at all. So I just put it on custom. Will that will that make it stop doing weird things? Let's try again real quick. Rotate. 
No, it, it just does its own thing. I don't really understand why. I think we're, I think we're just going to get rid of that camera because because uh, reasons. All right, let's try this again. Let's do it. Can I, can I fly at all? Okay, well, uh, we're not we're not really creating enough forward thrust like at all, honestly. Um, and we're not creating much lift either. It doesn't feel like, to be honest. We need we need more lift than we're getting because we're kind of just falling flat out of the air. Uh, can I double up on these? Is that is that a possibility? And would that help? I don't know. Let's just let's just start by doing actually. Let's just start by doing that. Let's uh. I kind of want to make the whole thing. I kind of want to be able to build on this really quick. If I copy these, so we have more, you know, flying uh, lift, hopefully. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and duplicate it. And let's just move back a little bit with it. We'll do something like that. We'll pretend that's how wings look. Well, it, it stays connected. It's doing it's doing more wing-like things without me even doing anything, so I'm happy about that. All right, so we have more lift now. Let's see if we if we're creating enough thrust. Uh, I wouldn't bet on it, but you know what? This is better than we were doing. Let's grab everything again. This is for all the marbles. This is the uh, the last official try here because I don't think we're gonna be able to get much more better than this. To be quite honest with you guys, so uh, let's get going. And I'll hold down the thrust. We're doing it. We're moving. Oh, 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 pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, God, we need, I think our, our tail fins need to be bigger. Okay, I, I lied. We're going to, we're going to do a little bit more. Just a little bit. I want to make these tail fins a little bit bigger. I don't feel like they were uh, grabbing the air enough. I, I, I just don't think they're big enough, quite honestly. So let me just make them a little bit bigger. And like that. Sure, like that. Let's see if I can make this one even with that. No promises, because I didn't... I think it's like that. There we go. And... Let's just grab these. Move it out a little bit more. Something like that. Sure, that's good. Hopefully I can keep this uh, actually even, because I'm not... Something like that. Is that even-ish? Can't quite tell if it's perfect or not. I think it might be. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully. Uh, basically... Now our control services should have more authority when I tell them to do things, I hope. And, uh, hold on. Why are they on here, wonky? They're definitely wonky here. Hold on. Why are you wonky, good sir? No, that's not what I wanted at all. Get out of here with that. I wanted to move this. Because, look, they're not even with the rest of the ship here. That's flat now. At least it's flat -er. Let me do that over here. Maybe I screwed it up when I was doing things here. I don't know. But that's definitely, you know, it was not flat at all. Um, so now when our control surfaces are neutral, they should actually be neutral. And they're a lot bigger now. They're a lot more realistically sized here. So uh, let's see if this works. This is for all the marbles. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. We're going forward. We have more, we have more authority. We can, we, we, we're almost going forward a little bit. No, that was it. We, we are just not creating enough power at the steam engine. Uh, oh, it's not a steam engine. It's a horrible piston spring engine. Uh, we are going to revisit this another time, but I think this is a bust for now. We have to come up with a better way of creating power with our engine. I think we could do better. We have to reinvestigate things. We have to go do some research, but, uh, we'll definitely revisit this because I think it's plausible I think we actually have a decent plane here, considering the wonky thing we have to do. But it's just, you know, we're just not creating power. That's just all there is to it. So anyway, guys, I'm sorry we didn't get this to work. We will definitely try it again in the future. I will try it when I when I have a better engine that will actually, you know, power this monstrosity. So I hope you guys forgive me. Uh, this is Besiege. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. If you guys are new to this channel, that's what I do. I play indie games every day on the internet for your enjoyment. So if you're willing to pet up with me playing games and failing horribly, apparently, hopefully you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, hitting that bell icon so you know when I put out new content, smashing that like button, leave a comment down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.